Stephen, did you bring me something for lunch? No. No! He's Nothing. still celebrating the Eagles victory. That's right. I was there all the way. And look, I brought in special Eagle things. I, I spun out of was my that way. Is a hockey team? Or? I bought them. And I won over a million dollars. Didn't I, Rob? About a million dollars short of that. From Kelly in Monopoly money, and you better send it. <laughs> no, I, I didn't think that's just kind of Kelly. Oh, but, ah, but you're going to win on this because this is Bargain Basement 15. That's right. That's, see, it says Bargain oh, Basement. Oh, yeah, it does. I see it. That's right. We are desperate. I'm broke. I have no money. Can't even pay attention. I can't, I can't even purchase coffee because I still got plenty of it. <laughs> Listen, we don't have to my loss coffee. is your gain. Well, actually, some pe people, the Bargain Basement all came up. By the way... My Chris is filming. Chris? There we are. Uh, Frank is still... <laughs> Frank is still here. I got to use Kurt's graphic. Okay. <laughs> here, come in here. I'm desperate. Broke. I need money. We're going to start with an Atari football. Works. It's decent. Uh, Somebody changed the overlays, the control panel overlays. Trackballs roll real nice. It's got a gorgeous picture. List is $24.99, $1,800. That's a steal. It is. Right around here, I got four player maximum NBA maximum hang time. So it's an NBA hang time. It's we awesome. normally get 25 for it. Now, I'll fix this, by the way. See this corner? Stupid kid during a party broke that off. A little Idiot. Because we had had this done. It was in somebody's house, and they traded it in. The power supply was changed um, uh, when we last overhauled it. Monitor's been rebuilt. Control panel's beautiful. Works great. So it's pretty much shopped, you know, and take it, 1900 Okay? Is that a good deal? Okay. okay. Speakeasy. Cap. Look, Rob, the cap just broke off during a party. We'll put a new one in. We had parties, you know, on Super Bowl Sunday, Rob, somebody actually rented our showroom for a party. Creeps break that off. I will put a new one on there. So you have Is that actually broke off? Yeah, the, Let me little, the little corner broke off. The creepy yeah, guy. Yeah, you did. Now, I have this right, listed we'll now. Down. The game works, super clean play field, cabinet's decent, we've rebuilt the logic and the driver board, okay? And I will sell you this for uh, 1500 half price. Wow. Okay? Half price. It's a nice Flight game. 2000. It's, it's really a nice game. Yeah, the targets here have to... They, they're all there, but you have to fix the little rollers but I mean, and stuff. It, you want to play pinball for 1500 bucks. It's, so it's a great game. Yeah. And you're going to have to do some work on it to make it perfect. Right, it's a rubber here. We have a great a video on I mean, the last one that went out. We spent a lot stuff. of time on that. Now, yeah. Flight 2000. We'll make sure all four displays are running. I see that one's got a quiver in it. Uh, this, we did logic board and driver board. Just like this, we'll be fully shocked. You will have to do the rest of it. But we did put all new drop targets in there because the like three of them are broken. Not good. Uh, but I'll sell you the Flight 2000. What's a good price, Robbie? 1500 Same price as this. Wow. So 1500 as is you do all the work. It's almost half price. Okay, over here, we got Neo Geo. Now, I'll make sure the light light's on the top. It's got a Tato Bus to Move logo. And these are instructions on how to play the 138 game board in it. It's got one of those boards, but it's a two slot. So you could put in your own cartridges and make a two slot. Now what makes it nice is this control panel overlay here is beautiful. This is that hard plastic one. I will paint this black for you, okay? The power supply was recently changed. The monitor was rebuilt. So mechanically and visually, it's really in good shape, okay? This is a high gloss paint that was painted on it. It was in a dentist's office. The original red is probably still below that, but you, you could choose to do that. And we sell these with the 138 game cartridge for $21.99. If you want to buy it, $1,500. $1,500.
Come in here. Offer a challenge. It's normally $19.99. It's working good, beautiful picture. Needs some artwork, touch up a little bit of that. But it's working great, and you can have it for $1,200. You don't see many of these around, do you? That's right, Super Sprint, or I like to call it Stupid Sprint. Okay? I will do you a deal on this. And you know why I will? Because probably why. Because I'm broke. Can't. No, because I'm broke. Because you take great bells. Okay. Free driver. Normally, fun normally thirty-seven ninety-nine. Game works perfect. The monitor has been fixed and rebuilt. The power supply is newer. It's in really pretty good shape, considering uh, it was in a private home. We sold this rob I think twenty years ago, and he just traded all this stuff in from his house. So you don't see these around much. You just don't. Twenty-eight hundred thousand bucks off if you take it as is. How's that for a deal? And look, Arctic Thunder, Robbie. I've got too many of these. The fan works. Seat rumbles. It's got a uh, we rebuilt the uh, computer has new parts in there. Remember, it's got a new battery and a new hard drive. And we'll make sure this light on the back does light. Nice picture. It is. Twenty-two hundred. How's that? Revolution X. Kids go nuts for this, Rob. Both guns vibrate, both guns aim, both guns work, the picture is beautiful, 1200 That's a good price, isn't it, Rob? Yes, it is. Okay, now, this is a Rush to Rock. We put a brand new 27-inch picture tube in that. A whole monitor. Brand new monitor. Brand new monitor. Okay, so you have to do virtually nothing to this. It's in physically good condition. 1200 How's that for a pass price? The Hobbit. I want to dump this. I want to dump it fast. What's a good price? Hundred? Two hundred dollars? <laughs> Three hundred dollars? No, that was just a joke. You can't dump that. No. We don't dump Hobbits. But I can dump World Poker Tour. It's in beautiful shape. It was purchased new. We think this was brand new in a home, private home. I, I can't verify it, but look, the artwork is perfect. I mean, it's almost perfect. There's a couple of little tiny dings in it, whatever. 3200 as it is, 1000 bucks off the regular price, and then you put the LEDs and um, rubbers in it. So I, have this, I have this little turbo outrun on consignment. I sold it to this guy for his kids, and he had it for 15, 20 years. He traded it in. The turbo outrun board didn't work, so we put the outrun board in. Okay? Now, the game's in physically good condition. The, the cowing here, we have we have this masking or the duct tape, because some of the plastic will have to be fixed a little, or you can put red duct tape on it. That covers the TV. The monitor chassis has been rebuilt with a new flyback and new caps, okay? So normally, let me have that listed, Robbie. You don't remember the price, do you? No, somebody took it off. It was on there. It was. It was. Okay, we have we have it down. All restored. Twenty five ninety nine. Twelve hundred. Okay. And then you guys can take over with the outrun board, and it's not turbo outrun. I think the outrun's a better game anyway. Nobody can turn this on. What idiots put this in and didn't turn it on? Oh, the interlock. We just bought this. Okay. Uh, guy had it, it works. It probably would work better if we had the free play on, okay? Everything works. It's gonna need some repaint here, okay? Now, I'd, rather than turn this over to Steve and get the full price, which is, what is the full price, Rob? $35.99, okay? $22.99, and you take it over. Everything works great on it. Yeah, this just came in. It did. A cabinet art is pretty decent. Okay, uh, so there you go. Now, here's a Monica. We'll have to get this interlock. See, the interlock has to be bypassed. We'll do that for you so you won't be raging. Okay, Monaco Jeep, uh, uh, Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo. That's the wrong game. Now, this is the original artwork, okay? 
I will put in the brand new artwork for the same price. Instead of that price, uh, the Monaco, Monte Carlo 1700. And that can be either with the original art, well, obviously we'll put a, it, we don't have the glass in it. They actually robbed it for a, a raven that went out. So we'll have a glass in it. But it's not a bad piece of art. No, anyway. the color is mean, nice. It's not but, scratched but we have the other. So you can have your choice 1700 plus tax. Oh, it's got a print. crack here, so it is damaged. Uh, yeah. Yes. But look, look what this isn't damaged. Look at this. America's Army. Remember we sold this about a year and a half ago. The America's Army computer went bad. Took a dump. A uh, company that makes it started to do a fortune. Global VR for repairs. So you know what we did? Since the monitor had like zero use, this this was actually in, I think, a football player's house. He, he, got a, he bought it brand new, had it there for a year or two. Didn't work. So he said, get rid of it. He took it in trade. We took the computer out. We put that beautiful Atari double game in, so it's got both Area 51 and the other game in it. So you have to do nothing at all to it. The guns are new. The game looks beautiful. It really does. And you have new power supply, of course. So all that was taken care of. And then this would be 1900. Now here's an original Maximum Force with the original artwork and also new guns. Same price, 1900. Oh, by the way, both of them have flash drives. There's no hard drive, no moving parts. That's because I'm great. I forgot to open the safe. Okay, turn around, let me show you. I sold this brand new. He actually bought this and an air ball. We sold the air ball already, but I have another one to show you soon. But this one, he sold. His kid broke this. There's my mailman. Hello, hello. He took a load of stuff with him. He comes every day because we ship tons of stuff. You know, we have a thousand items listed on our eBay store. That's because we're great. <laughs> you know, somebody wanted to know why you weren't in the last video. And when I went through it, 30 minutes, all these different days, I realized you weren't. He, he wasn't here. Look at the camera. He's in this whole video now, isn't he? So I don't like Rob. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot to give you your billing. There we are. You're talking about the imbecile sidekick. It's an after edit too, and he, he knew what I was gonna put in. Mm. Look, open the safe. It works great. Alright. Try to open that safe up, baby. Try to see if you can. Kids really like playing. The guy said his kid got bad and hammered this and it cracked him, so I can't get that little more key anymore. But it's beautiful. Home use its whole life. 1999, 1500. How's that, Robbie? Aren't I great? Aren't I great? Look back here. Marshall Champion has a beautiful picture, okay? A two player JAMA fighter. You can put other crap in it. I mean, you can put Robocop in there. You can put. Uh, that's a one player, but it'll still work. But Final Fight, perfect cabinet for all that stuff. Take it as it is, 500. Dead Angle, another perfect choice to put other JAMA boards in. Although this is rather good. This is a lot of fun. This will take JAMA boards, but just one player. It's like Robocop, 400. Look, a game I have never had for years. Road Fighter was a kit. They put this kit, unfortunately, I wish I had this lock and chase. Oh, God, did I love that game, Rob. But sadly, they, they, the lock and chase is, is history. Road Fighter's in there instead, but Road Fighter is actually a lot of fun. A driving game with a joystick. You have your gas pedal here, and I think the other's a brake. Uh, there it is. It actually works. It's 500, okay? Uh, this is rather ugly. So, okay, I'll show you this one here. We sold this years ago. It was in great shape. It's before we put new T molding on. But if you want to take over, the control panel overlay was changed years ago. It's still in very good shape. Side art's actually pretty decent. It's got a few nicks in it. This is for somebody that wants to detail it or is just as happy just the way it is. It, it's I got Rob, do you remember how long ago we, we got it? I think I think I think we sold it like 15 years ago. Was that what it was, Rob? Yeah, I don't know. 
I, I don't know if I'll have time. I can't remember anything these days, Rob. Well, you're old. I guess it is. Oh, the timer is counting down. Old like me. That old thing? That old thing? <laughs> anyway, come down here, come. This is the Medicare Express. All right, people have asked, can they buy shuffle alleys from me? Yes, we can. Here's what we'll do. Logic board will be updated. The battery board, driver board will be serviced, okay? You do all the cosmetics and cleanup, okay? This game is usually 30, or 40, no, this one's usually $42.99, okay? You've done all that work to it. You take over and save uh, $1,500. It'll be $2,800, just the way it is. You come and get it. Everything works, game plays, you can change the pins on your own, whatever. That's you up to you, right there. Come on back here. Now, people are constantly looking for Donkey Kong projects. Here we have a junior, okay? Now, somehow along the line, somebody painted the original orange cabinet black. You can see some of the orange coming through. What idiot. Then some other idiot put a Donkey Kong <laughs> overlay on it. It wasn't me, but some clod hopper did that, okay? But it's got a perfect picture uh, because I believe he recapped it and it's got great sound, okay? Uh, it, well, here it is. Anyway, when we restore it, we, we do a lot of work to it, we get a lot of money. But we'll sell it just the way it is if you need a Kong off project, 1200 if you need a project game. There it is. Now here's a Junior Pac-Man, and if you want, you can dial the 10 Ann Amusements Corporation, and I'm sure they'll come right out and fix it. <laughs> Actually, I, I met the, it's a husband and wife team, do you know, they have a part-time job down at the Mann Music Center in Philadelphia, at, working there, and I ran into them when we went to see one of the big movies on screen. We went to see the Philadelphia Orchestra uh, accompanying Lord of the Rings, uh, the third part. I said, my God, all these years. So they, they love going down to the man part time. And I told them, I said, we still have a few of your games with your stickers on it. If you want to do the cosmetic work, this was a, see the cutout? This was a Super Pac-Man, one of the factory kits. They gave you this, they gave you the overlay, they gave you the stickers for the front. And I don't think it has any on the side though. Oh, it does. It has the Junior Pac-Man single sticker that went over the top that covered the word super. Okay? You want a project, $1,200. I can buy it cheaper. I don't care. $1,200 if you want it. $1,300 if you want it. I can buy it. Moon Patrol. People go nuts for that. Got this quarterback ready for this boob at Christmas. He's coming in, he wants it, he went on and on about it. it was his favorite game on planet Earth. Put a new power supply in, we recapped the monitor with new parts, got it all cleaned up, all ready for this jerk. Jerk! It's the Super Bowl 52 model. Called him like four times. Nothing. I made a big mistake, Rob. I didn't get a deposit from this guy. So now I'm done with stuff unless we get deposits. Done. Got to put all this time and energy into it. Eighteen hundred was the price. I said I really want to get rid of it. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Bad duds. Okay. With the famous curvy it's marquee. Dudes. Is it dudes? I thought it was dud. It's like milk dud. Oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bad duds. Rob, Rob, if you get some masking tape, dudes. cover over this E. He's a dud. Bad duds. Look, you know it needs to be focused to here. What? It's the Tom Brady model. Oh, watch poor him get Tom. sacked and fumble. What's going to happen? Watch. Here's here's the play. Sack him. Here's the play. Oh, I dropped the ball. Do we do we lose? We lost. Robbie, Robbie, the poor, poor Tom. slob. He's going home he to everything. his supermodel. But look, look what I'm going to do. Billion dollar you. home. This still has Data East side work. Uh, side he's work trying all the way to the oh. bank. It's a very desirable cabinet, 700 okay? It's a dedicated bad duds. Now, this isn't a dedicated bad duds. This is was, I think, either a scrambler 
or a Super Cobra? It's not Scrambler, it's Scramble. Want to see my Bill Belichick face? Could be Walter. You know, Walter Robbie, from Jeff Dunham. Wait, 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 Robbie. Lift, just a second, lift your glasses up for a second, real quick. Oh. Okay. Hmm. 500. Two player baseball. 500. 500. No, we're not wholesaling that. But we will sell this at a discount. <laughs> uh, what is this one? This one is a. This is an older one. I don't know if there's a blue. We got a loose connection in there. Got the blue pack. Look at that. A little baby cabaret. It's working. I don't know. 500. Okay. Now, this is just a maximum like force. The price off it. I know. We, we had these parties, and these little creeps come in. I had this all priced up on Friday. Creeps. Okay, look. Robbie, maximum force. It is working. We took this in trade. We, we did put a. I um, took out the hard drive and we put in a flash ROM drive. So we went that far. We made sure the guns are working. Um, but rather, than, I'll, I'll wholesale it out for nine hundred. If somebody wants to fool with it, nine hundred dollars, right? Is that a good price? I think so. And I'll do something with this thing too. Striker Extreme. Okay, forty-two hundred. It's got LEDs. That's in with it. LEDs. It, we, we did some LEDs in it. Come over right. and look. It's got a lot in it. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll change the drop targets. We got this traded in, and the drop targets are broken, as you can see. We'll fix the drop. We'll put four new drop targets in for you, okay? But you do all the rest of the work, okay? So we'll make sure it's clean and everything works perfect. 3,200. Bullseye. Oh, wait a minute, Star Wars. Now, put new fans in the processor. The logic board's been serviced, okay? New battery. Uh, it's got a beautiful picture. Gorgeous picture. This was a trade-in. Look, the um, phaser still works. For, for, yes, the lightsaber still works. 3100. 3100. Okay. Bullseye. This was a kit. You converted a ballet game. We'll make sure all the displays are working. It does work. And you know what it has on it, Robbie? It has something unique. Where's the credit card? Okay. He's got the sound. He wants to turn the sound down. Because uh, it actually has sounds that are like 8 volt deluxe sounds. So we'll make sure the sounds are on when you get it. Okay? So uh, we'll sell this for $1,400. Somebody wants to fool with it. So the play feels like brand new. We'll make sure everything works the same. Way. Here is a Blitz. Gorgeous. Look at this. Gorgeous two player original dedicated Blitz. We got traded in with a medium res monitor. Okay? $1,500. That's a good price, right? Think so. And look what else is a good price. This beautiful uh, strength master. Come down here, young man. Okay. And there we go. Logic board, driver board service. The front field is in good shape, just like the other one over here. Okay. But you'll you'll save yourself some dough. We'll sell you this. Just the way it sits for twenty-two hundred. Okay, third, third, twenty-two hundred. Isn't that a nice price? While it lasts. Uh, I wanted to show that air ball. Is there anything else? We just got this back. We sold this like, God, twenty-five years ago. I'll make sure the light on the top works. The monitor does have. We have to turn the brightness down. Does have a the amp? The sand was fixed on that. Uh, he did something else. We got everything working to get it in the showroom, okay? Uh, it's This is the original kit to convert your Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong Jr. This was obviously a Jr. that was converted. So you can get new side art packages and everything for it, which I won't do if you buy it from me. And where's the price from me? I didn't prepare well, did I, Robbie? Here it is, here it is. 1500. Monitor, working, sound working, picture, all the controls. So, it's a nice project for you. Put a little bit of time and energy into it, and you got a game worth boatloads, thousands and thousands of dollars. 
Shall we show them air ball? I have one more air ball. Air ball. Air ball. Let's go back and look at it. Rob, how come you're not in here with me? Because I'd have to be like okay, look, two look. inches let me, wide. Let me tell you the story there. of this. <laughs> I bought a boatload of air balls brand new. Here, can you get that? I need this idiot in here with me. Your back up. Oh! Could have been killed. Booby trap. Could have been killed. My Chris will fit anywhere. He's so little. Anyway, come in here. All right, well, here's the story with Airball, or Hairball, as you delightfully call it. Made in 1980, 1970, by the MCI Corporation. Look, it even says my favorite words. Patent pending. Patent pending. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had this in my basement. My house, actually, for years. My, my game room. Then I put it in my cellar, my game room. I had a guy very interested. He really wanted it, really wanted it. So I brought it over here. And we started to go over it. We always go over them before they go out because you have to put a little grease on the rods, that sort of thing. As a matter of fact, if you look in there, the manual is laying in there. So it got moved here, waiting for the guy. Well, unfortunately, he lost all, didn't have any money. A dreamer. We call them dreamers. There's a lot of dreamers. But so. Consequently, it ended up here because I didn't want it going in the showroom to get hammered on. Because the kids will play it day and night. This is an old mechanical game with limited electronics. So, what the idea is, you pick the ball up. Here, hold that. I'm going to show it. And you have to get through all five. Yeah, it's a little skill ball game. It's kind yes, of... Yes, it is. It's hard. It's not it easy. It is hard. It's not easy. Now, here's the key. If you're able to do it... Oh, crap. Okay. Well, I cheated a little. How I didn't do you, go all the way through. How do you... Oh, you gotta kind of walk it across crap. there. It's hard. Anyway, you get the idea, folks. So, mechanically, it's had virtually no hours on it. Now, here was the deal. I got all these, these machines, okay? Now, look here. See this scratch? We opened up the box, and this scratch was in the plexi. So, I said, crap. And see, this is a special. It's just not clear. It's got the artwork on it. So I couldn't just put a new piece in. So I said, let me take it to my house. So this ended up at my house for the rest of its life until now. Well, it's, yeah, how long has it been here? Two years? In this corner. So anyway, it's time to get rid of it, because the other air ball we sold, when that opened the safe, that we took it from. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's time to get rid of this one. 1600 bucks. Okay, we have it listed for 2000 It's got the manual. We'll make sure everything works perfect. Obviously, we'll do the video before you get it. But here's a golden opportunity to get this one. Rob, how, where's my coffee? Where are you holding it? Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I think it's time, Chris, we go to the warehouse. What do you think? Because I think we can show them some rubbish. Oh, some junk. All right, some games that we have in the warehouse we want to get Those rid of so we can get this video up so I can get money pouring in. Now, pouring. if you use a credit card, I'm going to have to charge you a little extra for the credit card fees. Okay. If you do a bank transfer, it doesn't cost you anything and there's no, no fees. We can ship. However, if we ship bargain basement stuff, I have to charge you $50 because I have to have an imbecile crate it. That's, that's your son, uh, by the way. Oh. Actually, let's start. I'll show you our crating process, and then I'll show you the stuff in the warehouse, like this. Watch. <laughs> That's what we do. And look, we even put a. You better be careful because I have my shaking sticker on it. They're three bucks each. Let's see how we pallet them. Nice and neat. This is that Donkey Kong multi cave. Okay. That's right. So we have to charge $50 if you want a game palleted by us. Of course, you can come here with your eyesore and pick up the game or send a big truck or whatever. Now, we do have a great shipping rate, though. We can pass on the savings to you. So we can have one game shipped in most of the United States for about $300 for the first and $150 for each additional. However, if you're on the coast, it's going to be like 50 bucks more per game. When I say the coast, I mean California. Now look, 
you have seen this in a zillion videos. This is a Atari football that we sold to someone. We took it back in trade and it didn't work. See, that's why we traded it. It stopped working. So in the interim, we needed a trackball because UPS lost a trackball. It, th this is basically, <coughs> we're trying to ship trackballs to people. There's no trackballs in it. Oh, we used one for a missile command too, I think. Yes. So we do have this part. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Now I have a, an Atari Football Logic Board that's no good. I will give you it. So it's pretty much as you see it, okay? You do the work, you fuss with it. I don't think there's no, a TV in it no anymore. No trackballs. Ah! Gone. TV! Works like a dream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, there's the chassis. Okay, it's got a chassis. And here's the, here's the bottom part. Oh, my. Oh, there it is. And the screws in that bucket. Okay. Yes, it's it's a basket case. It's a part machine. You can have it for parts. The artwork's decent, on the sides at least. I don't know, $300. And we will wave goodbye to it. Okay, so I'll give you a broken logic board, and you deal with it. And boy, will they deal with it. They're coming to the Ah, poof! Can you believe it's our last one? Oh. It works. It runs on the same computer that is in Ski Ball Extreme. Okay, same computer, works perfect, but you have to get the ball in the hoops. Allie, instead of the usual, look, it has the basketball court. The basketball court looks. Looks like it's in great shape. I think it is. It's in pretty, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. Let's just say pretty good shape. I see any real marks on 1500. it. $1,500. Somebody has to want it. Now, see that Dr. Mario? Dr. Mario is no longer in it. That was the kit. The VS kit has a TV in it. There's no logic board. It takes a VS logic board. I will give you a VS logic board. VS logic board with it that doesn't have the Dr. Mario in it, and I don't know if the board works. I have no more VS games, but that is a Pac-Man kit. They called it Sac-Man, I think. S-A-C-M-A-N. Authorized kit from Nintendo. 500 bucks, and you fuss with it. Otherwise, I'm going to throw it off the roof. Oh, I should throw it off the roof. I think we showed this before the point blank, didn't we? Yeah. Is this the Sea Daddy of the Year Acura? Acura? <laughs> Acura. One Acura. of those things. Idiot. Uh, watch out, there's a glass on it. Uh, it's getting overhauled soon. Yes, this is a Spy Hunter that was set in for a oh, TMD. Yes, there is a glass <coughs> right there. Did not see that. Didn't see it. There's a, there's a ball in it. Mm. He didn't see it. My brother doesn't see a whole mm. lot, does he? No, I don't. We got very poor eyesight. He doesn't see. I, I, I have this just Citron. But we only have that part of it. I don't think we have the other. Well, hand. no. Th this was this was the kit to make it just. And I'm not sure where this piece is. There's a piece of metal that didn't light up. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. That we're holding off on that. We're holding off on that. Uh, I I have. <coughs> I have two Blasteroids. Now, I think the game's great. We'll make sure it works perfect. Beautiful color. If you want a Blasteroids, I'll sell one of them for 800 I think it's a good deal. No, it's not. I can buy it. No, you can't buy them at the auction. Have you noticed the auction prices are nuts now? Completely nuts? Now, look, here's the deal. How about this Playboy? Are you trying to sell that? Uh, I have to put an overlay on this. Is that a 30 Somebody, here, look. Year edition? Somebody traded this in. This came from Home Recreation Products. Long bankrupt. They sold it to a guy in his house. Now, I don't know whether they sold it to him with all the wear on it. Wow, it's worn. It's worn. Must have got it's a yellowed. It's worn. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make sure it works. I'll make sure the logic and driver board are rebuilt. And you take care of everything else on it, okay? So it's, it's going to be a workman's special. 1400 This does look like the 35th anniversary. But it's not, Rob. It's, it's not. 79. 
All right, let me ask you a question. The other one was more? white and black, I think. I don't know. I got a squirrel. I got a squirrel to probably. Yeah, white, black, and maybe gold. Uh, white and black and what? And gold wasn't the other one? The 35th you just, you saw talks. one a couple months ago. That's right. That's the talking one. Oh, okay. There's actually three completed ones. I don't and think somebody the fourth would want one, that. The fourth one is going to be a Pimble 2000. And they actually did had the play field done, but that stopped. Hugh Hefner loved, loved Pimble. Loved him. He was a big supporter of Pimble. God bless his heart. He, all right, now, here's a Gorilla Wars. It's got the dedicated, the real dedicated board in it. It's got all the connectors. Somebody made this. It's actually a decent kit. This used to be a grand champion. What's amazing, the clear glass still says tempered. The grand champion never worked, but that's the design of this. Okay? We will make sure it works. Actually, we sold it at one point because it's got our free play button on it. But somebody wants to fool with a real Gorilla War, with the original controllers, original logic board, 500, working. We'll make sure it works. Now here's a trivia thing. This actually works, has a beautiful picture, and look, there's no burning on the screen right now. It does work. We've had this listed before. We're now out of working 300, it's still 300. We're out of work, but if somebody wants to buy this to restore it to a Frogger, have a nice cheap game in their arcade or game room. There you go. It's the original Street Fighter. Street Fighter. I don't think I want to do anything with that. Nah, you didn't want to do anything last time with that? Yeah, I don't think I want to do anything with that. That's a, what, what is that little cabaret over here? Well, I'm going yeah, to keep that. I'm going to keep that one because I'm going to... We have plans for stuff. Somebody bought the taxi. This is a customer's Harlem Globetrotters. Every time I look at it, I cry. Oh, it needs so much work. It needs an overlay. I, 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 I get depressed when I look at it. I told him I didn't, I didn't know what to look at. Oh, yeah. Oh it's God. horrendous. He said it was only a little bit of wear. He actually said that. It was less paint than... Uh... <laughs> he actually said that. He really oh. did. He said what? He said there was only a little, a little, little bit of wear. <laughs> they hardly played it. Okay. <laughs> this is this was a working Greyhound trivia. Four billion. We needed the monitor. Your picture tube actually. So it's gone. It works. It's fifty bucks. The front door swings up. Maybe you can make a little game out of it. Fifty dollars. And the board actually runs in there. Maybe you could sell the board for fifty dollars. But look, this I won't forget. It's two player, whatever it is. We got this traded in. This used to be a very rare game. Birdie King. It, well, now it's a Birdie King, but it used to be something else. Uh, made in Japan, Tato. It was another Tato game with a 19-inch monitor and the trackballs. I believe it's, Jonathan, is this the one that's dead as a door now? Probably. We got to trade it in. It doesn't work. Who knows? Okay. Doesn't work. I actually want to do all those cocktails. Maybe we should try to get it working. I'll tell you what, $200 if somebody wants to screw with it. It's a Birdie King 2 with a 25 inch monitor, or it's a 19 inch monitor, and a trackball. Now, right there, I want you to see something. That is a Rampage. That is a real Bally Midway Rampage. Okay, all the wiring is in it for a Rampage. It's a Rampage. The problem is, the problem is, somebody needed the joysticks, took all the joysticks out. So we have the original control panel. Yes, is it lunch here? You have a call for me? You need me for something important. Then <clears throat> why are you coming here? We don't even money to get our lunch. Aww. <laughs> Clunk. Johnny, I'm money? Rich. Money Here's to buy our dollar. Why are you great? Why Johnny off tomorrow when the praise Thursday at 11? Uh, he's not off tomorrow. We're off the switch days. Nobody's off at all this parade's week. Parade's Thursday. Big parade. The parade is going to be so big they asked me to be a float. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all laughed on that. Now, we were talking about that rampage, weren't we? Yes. Okay. All the wiring. The monitor was borrowed, the top logo glass, the fluorescent fixture, but it's a real rampage. And John, 
Can you just stick Mr. Cameron and show? It's not like it's been converted, right? It's still, yeah, it still has the Bally Midway side art, too. If you want to screw with a cabinet, Rampage is big now. Big. As big as me. Big movie's coming out. The big movie's coming out. $500, there you go. There may be a power supply on the bottom. There's no soundboard or logic board. But you got all makings of a classic game. How come... How about a dart machine? We got like five of them. I thought we only had two. And I we think just got that one in. No, I don't know if it works, so I, I don't want to deal with it and put it in there for sure. But listen, this is important. I forgot. Ah! Sempe system, the immersion. Inexplicably, nobody seems to want this. We have this hat trick. Everybody is screaming, immersion, immersion. This was in a dentist's office. We sold it to him years ago. The overlay is long covered because they wore off the paint. But it does power up and work. It's a hat trick right now, but you can make it into a, any of the other Sente games. You got good basic running game here. $800. Don't, right, Jonathan? Mm -hmm. hey, did anything, is there anything in here? Is this all? No, all overhaul stuff. This is all junk. We cleaned out the room because we wanted to start putting. Yeah, we were going to start filming in here again. Picture two. Those are Franks. Frank, I'm storing two games of Franks. Yeah, these are. You're right, Jonathan. That's Party Zone. That's from Mark in Canada. Demo Man. He's been making payments for over two years, two and a half years. Dedicated Mario Brothers. Uh, I sold that months ago. He's been making payments. Oh, we do have a Stargate. Oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to retail it. We have a Stargate, but that's going to be retailed. Sorry, folks. Hmm. There's a few games that people will still buy uh, at the retail price, and that's how we stay open, right, John? Mm -hmm. Now look, here's a de here's a deal. A stupid hang on. It, it's got a white screen. That was from I, the rec center too. Yeah, this was from the rec center. Listen, I don't know what's dealing. I don't know what's going on with it. There is a board in it. Now it's just a white screen. Four hundred dollars. If you want to deal with it. We actually had these two games working. This is the Beast Busters. Now here's what I'll do. Here's what we'll do, because we needed the monitors. We needed the 25 inch monitors. So if you want to buy the system, I have a working Hyper Neo Geo 64 running the Beast Busters. We'll sell the logic board, the whole system and all the wiring in this thing. So you can put it in your own system. Now, the base here, see the base here? This has a, a, the gun actually works and fires. So if you want to buy it, I'll either take everything, oh, you know what? There's nothing in this cabinet. That's right, everything's in the base. So rather than take this big, this big so we already took the chassis out, but rather than you get this, if you want to just buy the base with the gun, we have a gun that works and a broken gun. So I have two working systems. And then this way, we only have to ship one part of it. And then you can hook up your own TV to it, or maybe even a flat screen, or whatever you want to do. But we'll sell it for $400 for the working one, with the gun that's decent, and 300 for that. So four and three. If you want the, this other half, we have the other half someplace, right there, there's the other half. You're gonna have to, I'll give it to you free. Free, without the monitor, but you have to pay the shipping. Of course, if you're coming here, of course, 400 and 300. I think we robbed the television. Oh, this will be an empty cabinet with a coin door. It's got that four slot door on it. Make a meme out of that. I think you also need a, I guess, a case of Windex to, to clean uh, it. Up. It does say Kurt on it, though. It does. Where is he? Kurt! Well, Robbie, I guess, you know, Robbie, I, guess I can do this. Hmm. That was poor. Jonathan, is that a mechanical? No, that's a digital. Okay, so that's, that's your uh, peg leg one you're peg taking. Leg. Yeah. Oh, God, we're never going to get that out. Look, here is, here's a deal. All right. Everybody's scrambling to get lunar landers together. Here's what I'll do. This was a lunar lander, okay? There's no logic in it. There's no monitor got the asteroids panel on it. 
But if you want to deal with it, it's got all the wiring in there, of course. The wiring harness is still intact. But there's no transformer, you know, the wire, there's no electronics, basically. But there you go. But if you need a Lunar Lander side art, $500. You've got a cabinet with that most important original Lunar Lander look. And this has got that most important spatter paint look to it. That's too much. You're charging too much. You just... Okay. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Here's a game. Here's a lovely game. Oh my gosh, this is awful. I'll tell you what. If anybody buys a game, I'll give I'll them... Throw that some. in. <laughs> Okay. That's a good deal. And it comes with your own, very own coffee now, can. Now this game, doesn't, did this game power up and work? This is a poker. Is there coffee in the coffee can? That was to catch the quarters. I, I don't know. Yeah, this has the monitor. I think it, it's scrambled. Crap on the screen scrambled. This is 100 And then this one behind it's nice and clean. That's $50. But we're taking that monitor out. It's got a 7000 in there. That's going in another game, so forget it. You're not getting that with the game. Okay. Here's the only legal poker game in the world. Dodge City, it powers up and works. Somebody took the door off the front. There's another one next to it. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. And this one's complete. Oh, without monitor. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll sell you a working complete one for 500 okay? And I'll give whoever buys the $500 one can have the other one. It doesn't work. It doesn't have the monitor. But they'll, they'll, have, so they'll get two for $500. That's, that's decent, isn't it, John? Mm-hmm. Uh, this was that Coronado baseball, and it worked. Well, if it works, it's $500. Classic black and white game with the uh, screen on it. With the um, blackout bulb in it. That was pretty decent. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the Rampage World Tour. This is the ra the World Tour. No, that, I think we have that sold. Okay. That's a Karate Champ. But we're going to retail. You know, people won Karate Champ again. I'm surprised. Rob, are you surprised? I'm surprised. Act surprised, though. Good. Black now, look what, there, right? Yeah. This thing is still sitting here. This is a world rally. Sadly, they took the night driver out of it, Rob. This was a factory kit complete with filth and dirt. Uh, it's still going to be 200 It doesn't work. It comes up with a white screen. But the, the monitor, at least it's a good monitor. Maybe you can fix it. Maybe it's a loose plug. Oh, my favorite line. Maybe it's just a fuse. Okay. Do, do we have the scat cats here? Mm. We do. We've run out of room. Jonathan, look, look at that thing right there. Put your camera on that thing. See that yellow thing there? What? What is that? It's some kind of a... I don't know what it is. Vega 21. Okay, I don't know if it works or not. It's $50. $50. Okay. Oh, here's now I'm depressed, Jonathan. Rob. You're supposed to look at the camera and look, to, uh, look depressed. Don't look to... <laughs> mm. oh, we do have so another depressed. game to show you. We do. Shall we show them? Yeah, and finish your coffee, will you? I'm still working. This is my fourth cup. You know what? We should have a, um, a coffee maker here in the warehouse with Jonathan. I like it. Are any of these back here that we can dump? I don't know what's in I that. think Frank said that was his. Okay, what's that one? No idea. I can't even read it. What the hell is it? Sammy something? I don't know. We better we better hold off of them. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm really depressed. And Jonathan, my judge dread. I don't think that's gonna work again. Hmm. I guess we should plug back in. Cup for next tour. They're probably this one. This is a brand new one. What's this yeah. brand new one here? Uh, that's a Wizard of Oz emerald. Uh, let's go back to the shop. And lastly, the last two pieces I forgot all about. Stupid Chase by the Tato Corporation. Even is has these lights. Tato. Toto. Tato, tomato. What a great game. Well, not really, but 
Look, it's a cheap driving game. This <laughs> wheel's a little loose. That needs to be Did tightened. you change the oil on this thing? I don't know. Look, 25-inch oh. television set. I, I just want to get rid of this thing. I really do. 700 bucks. It's a driving game with a big screen TV. And I think it's a Wells Garner. I mean, the TV is worth that, right? I, I, tires on that car alone. $500 right there. What do you think? Look at the Tires. camera when you see Wysak, Wysak's crap things like that. What? But look, here's another driving game, Robbie. This one is easy. This is just what you do every day. This is this is what you do in the winter time. It's interesting, when we have parties here, I always hear this thing playing. People are always playing this old X City game. It's a black and white game with a blue and a green thing. Think of the front screen. I sold a shop one to someone, and we have this game, it works, as you can see, pictures as clear as a bell, kids go nuts for this game. Okay, anyway, I also want to get rid of this 800 too, so what, what's that? Less than half price. Wow. 700, 800. Now listen, the rules are, remember the rules for this. Cash. You do a credit card, I gotta bang you over the head for the extra points in the credit card. Hey, cash. No warranties, as is. I don't wanna, but that noise is. Bobby. <laughs> Look, you can call or email us. Call or email us. No, no, it's down here. Oh, I wanna put it up there. I, well, I can move it, watch. There, and there. Good, see? Okay. Up and down. Good luck with that. I just moved the camera all over the place. <laughs> no! <don't>. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. Hey.